Great. All right. Hi, guys. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Jenny Yusuf, physical therapist and doctor of physical therapy, creator and founder of Violence and Falls Support Group, and also Fishygen PT and Wellness. So today, I just want to introduce myself to whoever not know about me. I'm a physical therapist, geriatric clinical specialist, and every Thursday we do Thanks God It's Thursday. We highlight physical therapists, occupational therapists, and other entrepreneurs. But today we have PT entrepreneur, all right? So for today, we have, I'm so glad, this is my first time. First time to be live, this is not Zoom, guys. And then I'm just in Nevada, right? We are in Nevada, Las Vegas. And luckily, I was able to meet one of our physical therapists. And also, it's my opportunity to introduce you to her, um, Gina Lynn Brown Tayag. She is a co owner, board member at Imperial Home Health. Imagine that. Executive producer of Mabuhay Studios, president and founder of the recent venture Tapis and Bag, designs and co owner and board member of Optimum, Optimum Care Provider, chief finance officer of Zen Professionals and co-owner board member of Caring, Caring Shield Hospice Care and the CEO and founder of Bear Lily. Lots of, lots of um, companies, imagine that. Don't forget she's a physical therapist, all right? Physical therapist background. So let us tell her, maybe we're very nice, this. And nice also we have this beautiful bag. And she'll tell us more. First, before that, can you tell us? Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Gina. everybody. Thank How you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. How do you want me to call you? Just call me Gina as usual. Okay, <laughs> Gina. All right. So tell us more about a little bit of background. I told you already what's your, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. So your physical therapist background, but how did you come up with all these um, creations? So from Bear Lily, I remember they know that I'm using Bear Lily and thank you, that's amazing product. But I was surprised that you just had a recent, um, what do you call that? Last fashion show, last launch. Fashion show yeah. launch in Philippines about this. So I am here in Nevada. I just want to see your creations. And, so and good thing more. I brought all this in Nevada. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> so tell us more to our listeners. So yes, from Bear Baby to this one, um, I was just really inspired. Like so much inspiration on this one. Um, I think there is more personal um attachment to these things uh for personal um i can't find the word right now but um it is these fabrics are from the cordillera where i'm from mm -hmm. okay. that's why it's it's a little personal for me oh yeah, yeah. so um first last year mm -hmm. you were not there okay. when we went to the csm inside oh, yes so, yes 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 uh, i like your outfit the outfit uh -huh. yes uh -huh. the outfit well, it, it started there, actually, okay. because I am from Baguio and uh, the Cordillera. Mm -hmm. And um, when I bought that outfit, that red, beautiful outfit, it is a, in a bold design, but it's not this beautiful, intricate mm -hmm. fabric that you're wearing. It was made of, it's a print. Okay, so it's you a cannot print. really feel oh, the no. texture. It is, it, 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 it's, um... When I bought that was a very it was printed on a very cheap polyester fabric. Okay, so it when you touch it, you cannot really oh, feel that. It's like this. Like, oh, oh it's so not cheap, but <laughs> it's like this. And then it's printed over this type of kind of silky fabric. Mm -hmm. Not compared to this, diba? Mm -hmm. It's so yeah, you can see the uh -huh. you know I very fine spoiler. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's not like this whole part of cool mod, right? Yes, yeah, it's like yes. it's like a blanket, but it's thick. It's very thick. Hand, it's hand woven by you know by by weavers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's where it started. Um. When I bought that fab that that outfit, I, I because I was so obsessed. I wanted to wear something that will represent where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And Conce and Ben knew this. When I went there, I was like so. It was red, and they were looking at me. Mm -hmm. But um. Yeah, so it, it started bothering me then. Mm -hmm. Now, why why am I wearing this mm -hmm. 
And so I contacted my, my cousin in the Philippines and I told her about that story. And I said, is is the Inabo fabrics being printed now? What's happening? Oh, so I, like, that's what I said. And so he's like, um, yeah, it's actually being printed. And there are some prints also that, that are being sold in the Philippines, believe it or not. So I thought it was just here because, you know, we're far from the Philippines. Yeah. It's so hard to access. So, yeah, I mean, I was looking for a real um, inable fabric, mm -hmm. like, you know, the legit one. But at that time, and I can't find it anywhere. I, even if I did, I did find some, but it was a bit pricey. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, well, if we're going, we, we decided to go there for a summer vacation. Yes. So when I when when we were deciding that, I was like, well, let me have a little project. <laughs> you know, me with my little projects, barely mm -hmm. here, all those. So it was just a little project that I wanted to do to maybe put on, um, you know, a little design that I can take here or maybe, you know, outside the Philippines, just so to bring it out to a wider audience. Mm -hmm. um, just so we will be buying legit, authentic, inable products as yeah. a, instead yeah. of buying you know the printed ones okay you know I mean? yeah. yeah it's called it, it is uh art term in the book yes so yeah so we went to the philippines and um i said we'll put up a brand mm -hmm. let's do all the legalities mm -hmm. so yeah there we um we put together that it's called tapis and baag yes, yes <laughs> i saw so where what is tapis and baag of all is this a place is it a person what's the the term the term yeah what is tapis and baag yes. tapis and baag is actually a male and a female outfit oh. in the cordillera oh. tapis is if you know that skirt yes that you i wear, so that's the tapis itself okay it is tapis although mm -hmm. in latin tapis is a very intricate um fabric Okay. So that is also Latin. So I know tapis then. You when you try to like a towel and then you just yes, cover your tapis. So I think I didn't know the baag. The so, baag is the menswear. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are you familiar with the Igorot menswear? And yeah, they cover their private yes, and then the they, front and the back and then, they and then we dance. Yes. Okay. So that is tapis. All right. right. So it's the for the male, male and female and female. Pretty okay. much. Okay. Yeah, and so you have these clothes. So, and also I see that the you also extended it for some bags and what do you call it? Yeah, bags, right? Bags, oh, bags, yeah. Yes, different design. As a bag lover, yeah. <laughs> as I'm from, from outfits, I think, you know, I thought since we have a very, very durable fabric, mm -hmm. I think it's perfect to wear to use it as a bag in a bag form yes yes and so that's, that's right. and yes, yes yes and so that's what we did you explain everything because this is in a ball and then you explain this is another this is so Suli Suli yeah. Kofi, what's that and sulihia wow yes we really, uh, research over oh yes yes you told me about that this is Jen, Sylvia, this is Ina Balasen. These are all new to me. Let's, oh, let's no. introduce this to our friends and okay. then just explain because they don't know all of this. And as a Filipino, I love to just let them know that this exists and love our culture. So this is, and people love to have these handbags and we keep buying and why don't we wear something that represents us? I yes. just want to show it to them as well. So Tsulihia, Tsulihia and Tinala. So, so our idea here, when we were thinking about designing our bags, um, the brains of me and my my uh, cousin, her name is Olga. She's uh, my co-designer, actually. What's so her name again? Olga, Olga Abaya. Fabio. Olga Abaya, yeah. shout out. Yes, Congratulations. she's in the Philippines, so she's running Philippine stuff, and then I'm going to run the international stuff. So. But um, yes, so... Our thoughts, we put our brains together on this one. Um, so what we did here in our bags, uh, we have, we sent our inable all the way to Mindanao. Oh, okay. Because I wanted to use their uh, Mindanao's Tinalak. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it's a fabric, but it's a Tinalak. Um, see how 
it's like bunny mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I love and yeah. it's very very durable so the okay. quality is there so i want them to use that as the the piping mm -hmm. and we call it the patigas to keep okay. it firm and standing firmly like this okay yeah so that's what they did inside and around and the handle mm -hmm. and we use also the this is called the solihia you won't see it here yes, this is yeah. right but you'll see it here in contrast the solihia mm -hmm. um yeah. that is um sourced from the so so I like the contrast like colorful and this is a very neutral it's neutral you know our bunik Right? And then those like... Uh, it's the tan -tan. Yes, the tan Yes, the yeah. tan -tan. Yeah. Um, but there's another, like, for the, the, the actual term for the, the skin of the tan. That's okay. what they use. Yes. So it's a fusion of three regions. Ooh. This bag. And we wanted to do that to really emphasize the the, the craftsmanship and the, the, you know, the artisans of the Philippines. So this is what this make this bag. Uh, this is what makes this bag so special mm -hmm. yes. because um, we fuse three regions here: the 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 Tinala of the Tiboli tribe in, yes, in, from know, Mindanao, tribe. and the the inable fabric of um, the Cordillera region. Mm -hmm. So it's like far north and far south. Yes, and then. And then this is from the zone, from the Luzon area. Yeah. So at least you you told me that there's a shortage of weaver, you know, weavers. And then at least we're able to help bring more jobs because you're so quick. How you're able to make all of this, but you're only three weeks in Philippines. So uh, I'm sure before that you're already trying to have those brain and everything yes. coordinated. That's why I was so tired after our launch because it was only five to six months in the making. Wow, that's Be so quick. You must know, so Oh my gosh, like, it was an everyday thing. I'm barely recovering, but I, we did it. This is so, we did also, it. Also, this is different too. This is the yes. one imagine. And that's easy because this is what we're usually day-to-day -day out with, you know? So as long well, important, it will fit the whole. You won't be surprised. A little bit of makeup. It's a big um. I have a big wallet and a thick one. What do you call this again? This is our sling. I call sling? it. Yeah, okay. I call it the rose uh sling bag. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, two way. You know, you can take this off and okay. you can use it as a little cutie cutie evening thing. Uh -huh. Or you be yeah, surprised. Yeah, it's uh, it's big. Yeah. My my I my little, little perfume. Yes, my little purse really fit in there too. Perfume, wallet, and then phone. Phone. Uh, that's Some important makeup. always that they should fit the phone. Yeah. Yeah. So they can remove this and it can be like um how to call this like a, a little handle bag. bag. Mm. That's pretty. I like the different contrast of colors. And then you have this um like so this one, what is this? Like, this is a Mindanao crap. Huh? Um, somebody told me a story about that. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Hey guys, that oh. is a Mindanao. It's a very, very famous Mindanao, and I'm going to keep it in the in the brand of Lapsen. yeah uh, the for the bags in to commemorate their 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 uh, craftsmanship there because yeah. oh, they're so good and they're so nice. They're they're very good people. I I love working with them. Yeah, because there. imagine if you're trying to so congratulations Thank first of all, all the congratulations to because this is only a simple project and one simple experience why I'm buying something and then you just come up with this. We Maybe just we came have up a big brain. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um and then come going back to your question, mm -hmm. the shortage. Yes. Um yes. there has been. That's probably why uh there's probably prints happening. Now, um, just to tell you a quick story. So when we were putting this together in the Philippines, yes. it's a brand. So we're like, okay, well, let's do a launch. Okay. So we said, okay, when we do our launch, then we might as well show off all the 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 um, fabrics of the different regions. Mm -hmm. Because in the in, in the Cordillera, we have many different regions mm -hmm. and uh, not regions. I'm sorry, um, provinces. I'm about to say islands. We have yeah, said that 100, 100 islands. Sorry, it's provinces in, mm -hmm. in the Cordillera. Okay. And so each province, actually, they, they create their own design of Inabo. 
So like, for example, this orange one mm -hmm. is the Kalinga. Okay. Okay. And then this one, this black and red, this is a very common um, baguette. And this this red one is a mountain province. Uh -huh. So it does represent different parts of all. So I said, okay, well, let's get all those fabrics and let's let's show it off during you know our our, our show or mm -hmm. the fashion show. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, okay, so we went from just for us to to educate ourselves more about it also because so, we're getting into it. Mm -hmm. So we we went to different private um weavers. Mm -hmm. And of course, when we go, we, we interview them. Yes. We ask them to educate us about the culture, about yeah. you know how about you know about how they do yeah. it. It's all to me, so yeah, to yeah. So research. yeah, we were they were educating us and everything. And as we go, there's this common statement that we receive um, that these weavers complain. I don't know how to term it, but. They keep saying that they're short with weavers, so they they cannot produce as much because mm -hmm. there's only two weavers weaving. You know, there's only three. There, uh, I I we actually went to um Sagada weaving, mm -hmm. and he, he used to have a lot, okay. and he used to have like 20, 15, 5, Now he only has three left. Okay. So um, what in whatever reason, bottom line, um, what what they're trying to tell us is you know the kids or the younger people now don't have the interest to be number one they they go to more lucrative paying jobs of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so who is who left weaving the older um population yes. yeah older and so it, the fear here is you know when they're gone who's gonna mm -hmm. Continue take that. over and continue the tradition yes. and, and do the weaving and and do you know so i i would not i would hate to see that you know this tradition this culture this heritage yeah will die yes with yeah. them yeah because, because that's what yeah. they told me that's what they told me they they said because uh, um okay so we've been going around and so i i reached out to one of the counselors that has a school in in um in barrio uh Said, uh, uh, counselor Vlad, and I asked him if uh, he can help me bring in um, some weavers just mm -hmm. so I can also see what they can say, yeah. hear what they say mm -hmm. about what I'm hearing. Just it, it's something like I wanted to confirm if this if this is really a pressing issue that's yes. happening now. Okay. And true enough, uh, we were able to gather about 15 to 20. Um, private weavers that weave in their homes. Okay. And they said, yeah, I mean, I can't even teach my kid. I, they're all moving. They're all, they all want to go abroad. They all want to go to the city and work there. Nobody wants to be trained to weave. So I'm just doing it on my own. Mm -hmm. You know, something like that. So we're like, we were taken aback. Mm -hmm. After that confirmation, like, there's really a problem with um the weaving so what what we're trying to do now what, what yeah. we were planning is you know that simple that simple fashion yeah. show with just yeah. family and friends uh -huh. we wanted to invite leaders you know communities out okay. there just to let them know just to be a voice just you know like it became an awareness kind of yeah. event yeah. that we don't want this heritage to die. Yes, you yes. See, these are so you think that once we have this now available, there will be more demand, and then they will be able to revive and again. Yes, those, like, well, that one is marketing. Another is also empowering, helping the weavers. Yeah, so we can help them in such a way yes. because if we are having this now and. These are really expensive even internationally. And we want to give like that this access and this is from Philippines, the yes. culture. Yeah. And then I have I attended the seminar and she's just wearing something, a touch of this. I don't know if that's in above, but the texture of this. I said, Oh, and then just like cover. Uh -huh. Like I said, oh, we have now, I'm going to visit a friend and she's like doing this like a bolero and everything. Because I don't know yet. I just saw in your fashion show. <laughs> so I'm really excited because some are really, she said, oh, it's difficult to find. 
this is from Baguio itself. And then we're from here, right? So, yeah. so she's from Hawaii. Oh. So she's so proud because well, how, where can you find that? And so now it will be available in the future online. Yes. So how can we, let's say, order or what they expect in the future now that you're trying to, um, you just launched it last yes. month. Yes. So now it will be available soon. Or is it going to be available or is it available now? Yeah. So what can we expect? So we are doing the fine tuning part of our online store. You will be able to see um tapisanbaan.com. Uh, we're just fine tuning that. Um, you'll be able to order. Um, the thing here is since you know these are very special fabrics majority of what you will see online would be uh, tailor-made okay. as much as possible. But we will try to make more boleros for you guys, for the women that would mm -hmm. just like to wear, you know, small, medium, large. Okay. Because they're, these are the things that are easy to wear now. You just want yeah. to show off your, your you know, your culture. Yeah. Like what I was trying to do in February. Yeah. yeah. Our CSM, we a physical therapist. We have this conference every year like in february and then we wanted to highlight our culture so yes. i'm excited i said let me pass by in your home in nevada i want to wear something in the future yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. next year let's go yes yes so yeah um now the advocacy of tapis in baag is actually to empower our uh weavers and um be a voice to 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 them mm -hmm. for them that you know we 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 need to support them somewhat. Yeah. Um, so we need to maybe, you know maybe um market their products more or you know um help them raise up a little bit of their labor. That's great. So congratulations, Gina. Thank you very much. This is really amazing. Thank you guys. So if you have any questions, inquiries, you have a friend or colleagues really interested in love bags and then me, I am really enjoying that. I'm interested. I am glad that more and more Filipinos are trying to highlight this art culture in different ways, you know. Um, so we just want to support them in any ways you can. Uh, we have other colleagues there that trying to do those like um fashion shows that highlight. So we support each other. Yes. Definitely, we love this kind and contact or connect with us. So Gina will, and then once you connect with Tapis and Bag. Dot com once we uh, feature this in our balance and falls or in our Facebook page. So try to connect and check it out. All right. So any parting remarks or anything that you want to close in for our listeners? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And I am just so happy that, uh, you know, not just me, but other designers are now starting to bring our culture, our designs out to a wider audience, oh. um, you know, globally, internationally, just yeah. so we can have a bigger reach, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, market our products to, to a wider audience. Definitely. I'm so glad because it's my first time doing really live. <laughs> So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is my first time and like a boxing like Boya Bunda, you know. <laughs> Tony Gonzaga. So, Tony G. Tony G. These are all the bloggers, not even bloggers. They are really like the um what do you call this interview? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. So I am so glad that I was able to feature a physical therapist and lots of minds with a genius in entrepreneur. So you always begin with a simple questions, a simple problem, and then you will have a solution. So I think just like you guys, you have some questions in your mind, you want to do a product, or um you have a, always a mission and a vision. Just keep it up. Just do it, you know, you never know what, who are the people who might have a solution in that particular problem, and you always help. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Gina. Very These much. are amazing. You are giving some great um, products for us, and I know more people will be able to so like a fashion show. I hope you can do fashion show here too, because that is in Philippines, right? And yes. that's amazing. I love the presentation. 
yeah. you and Nessie. We'll try to mm -hmm. do a fashion yeah. show here in LA. LA. Or uh, maybe later on in New York. In the future. But yes. Um, in the future, we will. Yeah. But All right. Thank you, guys. And thank you again. That's really... See, those are different style. I like this thing. Right? That's the Kalinga fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you have any questions, guys, connect with us. All right? Bye Thank for you. now. Bye. See, and then I need to come here just to finish that, right? <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> yes, yes. So we need to come here and do this. All right. Bye. Thank you. Connect with us. Thank you.